Within one year, almost 5,000 prisoners were murdered in Melk. They died as a result of direct violence by men of the Camp SS or by Air Force soldiers, but also as a result of maltreatment of prisoner functionaries. Sick and injured prisoners were taken to the prisoners' infirmaries, marked in the aerial photo. There, prisoner doctors tried to help their comrades within their limited means, because there was a lack of medicine and bandages. In addition, they had to stand up to the SS paramedics, who did not care for the prisoners, or even deliberately murdered prisoners like the aforementioned Gottlieb Musikant. The so-called Book of Unnatural Deaths reflects the traumatic situation that prevailed in Melk. As the example of 2nd of February 1945 shows, there were repeated serious accidents in the tunnels. Former Melk prisoner Franz Schikora reports. Yes, I once saw there was a collapse in one of the tunnels. Two people were buried. The colleagues wanted to save them. The SS did not allow us to dig them out. They were only dug up when they were dead. Shootings or alleged suicides, as marked with red circles here, are also recorded in the so-called Book of Unnatural Deaths. The subcamp is designated here with the codename Quartz. Of course, it is not clear from the book whether the suicide by hanging or the suicide by electricity, as marked in cases 2 and 3 here, were not in fact forced by the campuses. The survival of the prisoners depended on several aspects. It was advantageous to understand the German language and special professional qualifications which were needed in tunnel construction could also extend the lifespan. Origin and reason for imprisonment were also important aspects because within the camp there was a hierarchy at the top of which were prisoners from Northern and Western Europe, whereas prisoners of Jewish or Slavic origin from Poland or the Soviet Union, as well as Roma and Sinti, were at the lower end of the hierarchy. A particularly dramatic event cost some 220 prisoners their lives on the 8th of July 1944. On that day, the town of Melk and the concentration camp grounds were bombed by US airplanes. They had probably not been informed that there was a concentration camp in Melk. The first floor of Object 10, as you see in the picture, was particularly badly damaged. At that time, it was one of two quarters for Jewish prisoners. The bodies of the approximately 220 mostly Jewish prisoners were transported to Mauthausen and burned in the crematorium there. The 21 guard soldiers of the camp, who also died, on the other hand, were buried in all military honors at Melk's local cemetery, as the picture shows. A direct consequence of the bombing was that the camp administration considered building a crematorium directly on site in order to be able to burn the many bodies. In the next part of our tour, we will take a closer look at this crematorium, today the Melk Memorial.